Hello friends. Now we are going to discuss the most important topic of this unit that is universal tuning machine. If we explain or if we uh, if we uh, define universal tuning machine in a simple language or in a layman language, so we can define it as computer running other computers. How? In general words. A universal Turing machine is just like a general purpose digital computer. Means a digital computer except a program which are written in a high level language and on the, according to that program if we put some input it gives some output. Okay. So in a similar manner in a universal Turing machine we put some input and an algorithm or you can see the description of a Turing machine. And according to this input and the description of the Turing machine, it gives some output. It gives some output which either it can accept the language or it can reject the language or it, it may be continue in a loop. So the whole thing means the whole Turing machine to check that whether a Turing machine is working or not. For that we program a Turing machine which is called as a universal Turing machine. So this universal Turing machine is called a computer and the other curve and the other Turing machine which are put as an input in this computer are called other computers. So universal Turing machine is a Turing machine that simulates an arbitrary Turing machine on an arbitrary input. As we already discussed that in the universal Turing machine we give an arbitrary Turing machine language as well as some input, arbitrary input and according to that we take, we determine that the output will be acceptable or rejectable. Okay? Or in another language we can define a Turing machine is said to be a universal Turing machine if, we, if it can accept the input data and an algorithm or you can say the description of the Turing machine for the computing purpose. Okay? Suppose if we, are have, if we have to perform an addition of two numbers, okay? So in a digital computer uh, language or in a high level language, we perform a program either in C, Java, whatever the language is and we put some input and according to that program and the input, we, we have some output. In the same way, if this is a universal Turing machine, in short, we can say it as UTM and in this if we are giving some machine that M where this RM is, it represent it represent a Turing machine M that except by halting. Okay, so in this universal Turing machine, if I are providing this a Turing machine M with some input where W represent the input string. It represent the input string. So in this universal Turing machine, if I am take giving a machine Turing machine M with some input string W, then this machine M hold with W, hold with input string W. So in that case, the string will be either acceptable or rejected. And if M a machine M does not hold does not hold with input w in that case the machine comes in or the machine will be in a loop condition okay so a computer which running the other computer program is called universal turing machine or we can take one more example to explain the universal turing machine is suppose if we are having an input tape, okay, like this, and in this input tape, we are having some symbol like 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and so on, okay. So, for this input tape, we are having some straight transition diagram which will construct the Turing machine while constructing the Turing machine. So, either uh, from this input, we are getting some straight transition diagram like. If we are having a state like S1, uh, S2, 
S3, S4, and if this is a halt condition, and if this represents some a state transition diagram, this is state transition diagram. Okay. So from this input tape, we are getting this state transition diagram with the help of a Turing machine. Now, what the purpose of having a universal Turing machine? So, if we have a universal Turing machine, then we, with this infinite tape input, okay, and with this Turing machine description, now we check whether a particular language with a particular input and with a particular Turing machine description, either this UTM, universal Turing machine, either it, uh, it determines either it, the language is acceptable or whether it is rejected or whether it, they come, uh, it come in the loop condition. So, this is the very main purpose of having a universal Turing machine. Means, in simple words, if we have to check a, a Turing machine with some particular input, then for that purpose, we are using a universal Turing machine. Okay, so this is all about the universal Turing machine. If you have any doubt, then you can ask in our comment section or you can send your query to our business email ID that is itechnicallearning at the gmail.com. And for more content, you can also visit our website that is www.itechnicallearning.com. So keep watching our video. Thank you so much.